Hey everyone, it's Everything Eve here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be, uh, so, uh, in my last video, you might have remembered that I looked at Windows Longhorn Build 3683, which I felt should have been what Windows Vista would have looked like, because it wasn't a huge, major change to Windows as a whole, and it was just a lot more simpler, and probably what Microsoft was aiming for, so... I want to take a, I, I said that I was going to do a comparison between uh, Windows Longhorn and Windows XP, so that's what I'm doing today. Now, if you see here, I have VMware Workstation Player here, and um, I'm going to try and open this VM in another thing. I don't know how exactly I can do that. I need to open another instance of Player. I need to just go to my thing and just open that quickly. Oh, okay, so it turns out you just needed to open another instance of VMware Player, and then you can open another VM. This might actually slow down my computer by quite a bit, but hopefully I'd still, I'm still going to be able to use the machine after it's being slowed. And of course there's our very weird sounding uh, Windows XP login. Oh, and there's Longhorn, and this just says, do you want to activate now, which I'm just going to click no, and we're just going to move on. Alright, so let's just set this to 800 by 600 quickly. Okay, so finally it looks like we've gotten our VM stuff together, and we're finally uh, getting ready to use this. So, the first difference I actually noticed with here is not exactly how it looks, but this is just going to be really just weird, but... The first difference I actually notice here is the recycling bin. This one uses this recycling bin thing. I don't know what's wrong with my mouse cursor, honestly. Just stop. Oh, man. Holy moly. What is going on? Oh, there we go. We got it to work. Seems like this thing's off, so... Okay, we have to give it a reboot. Dang it. Surprisingly, after unpausing the recording, things drastically sped up for the Windows XP Professional VM as it just rebooted in less than a minute just now. So the first thing I actually noticed, surprisingly enough, was not that, um, not that they, not any differences between the taskbar or anything, but actually the difference between the, uh, recycling bin, where the recycling bin's placements here, you can see here in Windows Longhorn, recycling bin has quite a bit of distance over there, but then here in Windows, uh, XP Professional, it's uh, more leaning towards the border than it is. Just something little I noticed that seems pretty silly. But then, other than that, there are some pretty drastic visual changes. So actually, I think I should just swap this around. Yeah, it's linked cubed or something like that. Oh my god. Okay, thank goodness. So after what felt like forever trying to diagnose what was going wrong after swapping those windows, we're here. So the first thing you can notice here is that the, the this taskbar just looks more blended in. It has one gradient to color unlike the Windows XP um, thing where the Windows XP, you see we have this tealish color here. We've got this uh, bluish color here and then we've got the green star button. So you can actually get back the Loon, Luna, Lu, whatever it's called, thing. Uh, the, you can actually get the, that theme back in Windows Longhorn, but uh, this is the theme called Plex, like my friend Java Plex. Well, go subscribe to him. And uh, yeah, so you can see that they look pretty different, I guess. And this one bundles Windows Messenger for some reason. I think there is Windows Messenger here as well. Just gotta go check that. Oh yeah, there is as well. But this one just has uh, started. So yeah, the, otherwise these VMs look completely identical to each other. So uh, I mean, other than the differences I just stated, what was I saying? Okay, so opening the start menu here, you can see we've got quite a bit of difference. First of all, the font looks a bit flakier here uh, for some reason. I don't know if that's just me and my uh, attention to detail right now, but um, it does look a bit flakier here, the font for the the word Ibrahim over here. It's just a bit deeper, and this one's got shadow. So you can see 
This one goes for a more playful look, while this one uh, looks more slick and businesslike, which I think Windows Longhorn would have very much appealed to business-like users who were actually looking for a business-like operating system, something that looked like it was made for businesses, not made for children. And um, you can see here, they really just have this one gradient of color. They have a few gradients of colors here. Well, not gradients, they're just solid hues. Well, this one just has a lot of small little touches to them that just make them uh, unique. You can see actually here that the one of the things that you might actually notice in Windows Longhorn is that this font beneath uh, email, it says Outlook Express, but you can't really see see that because it's actually gray. And this one says Internet Explorer, but you can't see that because that's uh, also gray, which the gray is actually blending into the um, the background here if you don't scroll over it. Whereas over here, since the background's white, you can actually see the words Outlook Express and for the Internet's Mozilla Firefox. Now, um, you can also see here, printers and faxes on Longhorn has been moved up here, while my hardware is just missing here entirely. It's been replaced over here with set program accesses and defaults. Otherwise, everything looks pretty darn similar to each other. I don't notice any big, big differences between the two, so other than the fact that this calls it MSN Explorer and this one calls it MSN because this was, was SP3 of Windows XP, meaning that it was using the latest version of MSN, which wasn't called Explorer back then. So now opening these, I think you can click on that and we can click on that to keep it open. Okay, so you can, ugh, dang it. Come on, just click, man. Okay, so you can see over here, the differences between the two are actually pretty darn similar to each other. I was gonna say huge. <laughs> But I don't know what I'm talking about. This video is completely unscripted, by the way, so I'm just uh, improvising on the spot, you could say. And you can see here is that um, they look pretty darn similar, but because of that background, this one is blue while this one is white, it looks radically different at the same time, but also similar. You've got a lot of things that have been have not been changed, for example, the folders and all the a lot of icons and stuff. And now, yeah, so... Next, we're going to touch down on Internet Explorer because that was something that I touched down on on my last video. So now, if we go to File Explorer quickly, let's do that. That won't take very long. All right, here we go. So you can see here there are. Um, File Explorer actually looks very similar, except you can notice, definitely notice a few differences. Number one, this is centered over here while this is on the left. I talked about this in the last video. It the uh, it um it was on Windows uh, 8.1, the centered, but then it came back over to the left on Windows 10, which was pretty annoying as I think centered is a lot, you know, better. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I'm I'm kind of a weird person. And you can see here we've got local disk C, and you actually have a meter that tells us the space. Now, of course, in Windows 10, the meter would come back, unlike in Windows XP. So otherwise, yeah, everything looks pretty darn similar. I think there's something different with control panel, so I'm just going to go to that on both. And... Oh, yeah, so this is using the classic appearance of... Windows, I mean, the control panel, I don't think, I think the reason why it's using the classic uh, thing is because I told it to, so we're going to try and get the modern version back. Okay, enough. Go away. Switch to category. Oh, so, looks like they're the same, so you can actually see this nice little touch on XP, where it actually has a... Um, I know it seems kind of freakish that I'm literally noticing every single thing about the differences between these two. I don't know why I am. I usually don't pay this much attention to details, but right now I'm just like focusing with laser infrared eyes. So you can see here it has um, it has uh, this little check mark thing for some reason, and it has this on any uh, thing with this background on it. Well, this one has just nothingness, and this uh, font is also thinner. Then Windows XP's 
font and you can actually see that other control panel options was replaced by security centers and security was a big feat like a feature of Longhorn is that you'd get better security regional options has been cut over here you can see it says regional O which kind of looks almost like a C and uh, yeah there's there's printers and other hardware but they just replaced that with my hardware but if you click on the two I'm pretty sure it'll be the same oh maybe not okay so it turns out it doesn't have the printer option on Longhorn it just shows you your drivers what's supposed to be your drivers I think uh, I don't know where the printer could be but there's a fine box for a reason oh yeah speaking of which uh, if we actually uh, okay we need a bit to do this here yeah if we actually go here we can actually see that there's um, there's this which this personally I'm more of a fan of this has a lot more detail to it than just plain control panel text and then there's C also which has a kind of like a gradient to it on XP and a box which is pretty cool and the other control panel options option is here oh wait okay so I made a mistake earlier the security center I don't know why I said that Longhorn uh, had the security center it's actually Windows XP that did so I'm a big idiot and also there's no find box here there's just a search thing on the top which also has some Longhorn which is just the search companion but a Longhorn it actually had an actually proper find box so you could actually be find settings similar to Windows 10 today so if I wanted to find anything for printers as we uh, well that's a crap looks like we're done with Longhorn okay you know what I'm just gonna be done with this video because this has happened to explore on exe and this makes the rest of the video pretty much uh, useless because now the, the explorer ain't working well I guess it is right now but uh, yeah I think I've pointed out way too many details I'm kinda like being pretty freakish right now so yeah, Windows Longhorn did have bugs, but if Microsoft continued to make it like this and improve some things like the font I said earlier, this would have been a great release of Windows in my opinion. Uh, and it would have been definitely a step up, step up from the classic Windows XP. So yeah, you can probably do install the Luna theme onto Windows XP and vice versa. So I, I think I might do a video on how to do that as well because I'm really running out of video ideas. All right. I'll see you all next time. If you did like this, you know, smash that like button and consider subscribing. It really helps. And also turn the notification bell on and join my Discord server. I'm really looking forward to meeting some of you there. And with that, I'll think see you all next time. Goodbye.